One really great resource for multi-wavelength astronomy is the Cool Cosmos website. This is put together by the Spitzer uh, IPAC group. Um, on that website, they have um, a multi-wavelength astronomy unit. And on the Chandra website, um, we actually, in our um, electromagnetic spectrum module, uh, have an activity that uses the Cool Cosmos website. Uh, that it would actually be a really nice learning tool for kids just learning or teams just getting started in learning the electromagnetic spectrum because that will help them see, understand the different wavelengths and why they're produced, uh, where we have to go to observe them from, where the observatories and spacecraft are located, and what they look like at those different at those different wavelengths and what the processes are. So that would be a really valuable learning tool. For instance, on the website, when you go to click on uh, the Crab Nebula, look at all the different images of the crab you see, and it explains them all. It explains the wavelength that you're seeing them in and what's producing that particular wavelength. It also has uh, some more of this year's deep sky objects uh, that you can do look at in the exact same way. Uh, the, the Ring Nebula, uh, 30 Doratus, the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds, and um, the Omega Nebula, M17. So, to prepare for this event, um, if you have any questions about the rules, the event description, I think they're pretty simple. We've not had any questions about them uh, recently, and they're exactly the same as they were last year. Uh, but if you do have a question about the event rules description themselves, then you should go to the Science Olympiad National website and look on the rules clarification menu and ask your question there. And if you ask it there, then they ask us, and then we respond, and then they post it. So if somebody else has that same question and goes to that site, they can see it's already been answered. It just cuts down on the, as you can imagine, incredibly high volume of email sometimes when, when we don't write our events perfectly clear and everybody needs a clarification. Um, so read the event description. Uh, make sure you understand the allow allowable resources. Uh, watch the Chand this webinar, watch the, web the webinar so you can get a general outline. Uh, for the content and what what the um, resources are, um, and then and remember the the transcript will be posted on the Chandra website along with the webinar. Also remember that this PowerPoint that supports this webinar will be posted on the National Science Olympiad website, and that those slides, all of those slides, will have links on on the note, little notes underneath the slides that will take you to all the websites like Cool Cos Cosmos, the activity on the Chandra site, um, take you to um, links to the different missions for extra information on the deep sky objects. Um, so take advantage of the links in the PowerPoint slide itself. Uh, use the Astronomy Coaches Manual for any additional background information you need. Uh, remember, the Stellar Evolution um, module on the Chandra website uh, has a large introduction uh, in the um, web in the investigation that talks about uh, investigating supernova remnants. It's a DS9 investigation. Um, make sh there is a nice introduction there that it, it has a nice complete description of the difference between Type 2 and Type 1A. Um, also, um, the as I said, that um, that test packet would be sensational because you will have the 2016 event, so you will know have a really good idea if you if this is your first time competing in in the Reach for the Stars uh, part of this, you will have a really good idea of what the 2017 competition is going to look like. Uh, I am going to put together a flashcard set using the deep sky objects for uh, the Reach for the Stars event and hope sometime this fall I will have those put together and they also will be posted on the National Science Olympiad website. Uh, we are going to also put together a sample state event 
that we will eventually release, not too early, uh, not too late, that we will release after we figured you should have done a lot of preparation and you're starting to, and you're starting to finalize your resources and your knowledge, getting ready to compete in a regional or a state. We are going to put up a sample regional and a sample state that you can use as a practice for your either your regional or your state event. Um, and uh, I know some teams are taking advantage of invitationals. Um, there might be an invitational in your area if you're interested in actually going through a competition uh, situation to see what that's like if you have not done that before. So, and here are, I I've, I've, have a couple of samples here, a couple of pages from uh, the 2016 Reach for the Stars event. Uh, here is one of the pages with questions, I think that page one, um, with some one page of the image set, show you what they look like. Here is one more page from the 2016 competition with another image set that is used for some of the questions there. So there are the entire thing. You can purchase for $18 along with every other, every single uh, 2016 V event is on that test packet CD. So you should also invest in that. It would be a good investment. So I can't ask if there are any questions. So <laughs> thank you.